Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, I'd like to give a double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. And I'd like to say a sincere Shalom to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world. Shalom. All right. Uh, the title of this lesson is Tell Us How You Really Feel, Esau. All right. And this is in reference to this um, this video right here taken from, uh, I believe, 2018, where this Edomite out there in uh, Kenosha, uh, uh, sheriff's department uh david his name is david beth he basically comes out and tells how majority really all you edomites feel about you israelites out there you so-called negroes latinos native americans you got to start wake up and understand that these devils hate you these edomites these so-called white people they hate you all right they're not for you they've never been for you okay and you know it's beautiful the last days that we're living in they're coming out and they're plainly saying it to your face all right and with trump being in office and he already says what the hell he feels all right, Trump gonna tell you how he feels straight up. He ain't gonna, he gonna give it to you straight, no chaser. Okay, so, but hey, that's 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 become this that's become the spirit of the major, uh, really all you Edomites out here in the, uh, in America. You got uh, these Karens popping up, you know, uh, uh, talking shit and getting butt hurt and, and 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 really telling you Israelites how they feel. And this is no different. All right, and these Edomites, these, these police are supposed to, supposed to protect and serve, but they're main objective is protect you protect edomites from you israelites okay and to serve edomites all right do with any and everything they can to serve edomites all right and protect them from you israelites all right and the police department goes way back the, the, the history of the police department goes way back to the slave patrol all right where these edomites um they were put in place to patrol and uh, and and police the slaves Okay, the slaves, you know, they, you know, to see if they had a, a pass to go to this plantation and, you know, uh, ask them where they're going. And, you know, the slaves run away. They, they're the ones that go out there and get them. Okay. And that, and that, and after the, uh, the slaves were freed in what, 1865, it was just a transition from, uh, 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 the slave patrol to what you call the police departments now. All right. And another article I got right here is show is, is talking about how, White supremacists and militia groups have infiltrated the police, and that's something they're talking about within the past 20, 30 years, but that's something that has always been there um, with these police departments. Whether our people, because there are Israelites that work within the police departments, okay, but you can, if you if you know someone that works in the police department, you they'll tell you that there's a divide between Jake and, excuse me, Jake and Esau in these the police departments, Okay. Um, so let me uh, play this small video right here of this Edomite um, police officer. And, you know, he's not saying straight come out, come out just saying, you know, uh, 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 blacks or Negroes or nothing. But you got to read between the lines. and You know who he's talking about. There's some people that aren't worth saving. We need to build warehouses to put these people into it and lock them away for the rest of their lives. Let's put them in jail. Let's let's stop them from truly at least some of these males going out and getting 10 other women pregnant and having small children. Let's put them away. At some point, we have to stop being politically correct. And I don't care what race, I don't care how old they are. If there's a threshold that they cross, these people have to be warehoused. No recreational time in the jails. We put them away. And these Edomites are talking about throwing you, th putting you jakes away, and throwing away the key. But that's how they, that's how they feel. I applaud this guy for coming out and saying how he feels. Versus an Edomite that's saying, "Oh, you know, um, you know, w w you know, we're all equal," and and, and you know, acting like they for us. They're not for us. That's what you Israelites got to get through your head. They, it's a, they, 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 they spiritually they cannot be righteous. Okay, so how could they be for you? They're spiritually, they're spiritually uh, programmed to really hate you Israelites, all right, to try to bring as much hell as they can on is on Jake. Okay? Um so let me get this let me get this precept Salakia. Yeah. Let me get this precept real quick. Micah chapter two and verse uh ten. Arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted. This place is polluted with all matter of wickedness. All right, all matter of witchcraft. Okay? It shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. And this place has clearly destroyed our people. Look at who, who feels the majority majority people in the jails are who? Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, at least 90%. Okay? And, and, and that's just a, a small facet, a small part of how it destroyed our people. Look at the households. There are no, there are no uh, um, 
uh, uh, no uh, males in the household anymore. All right. They, they, they Esau got these women thinking they could do it all by themselves. That's wicked. OK, but what this devil tells you, is they, you know, you could do it. You could be an independent mom and, and this and that. They're not telling you nothing righteous. They're not telling nothing to build you, Jake's up. All right. All the knowledge and the wisdom comes from the scriptures. OK, uh, let me get this. Uh, read a little bit of this article. White supremacists. White supremacists and militias have infiltrated police across the U.S. U.S. Port say. All right. And this has been going on for for centuries. Uh, OK. Where the uh, Edomites, uh, 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 KKK, uh, these militia groups um, have are, are, are really go hand in hand with the police. OK. Because when, when when they when they get off, they go to these militia meetings and groups and they not, you know, they, these people think that, oh, they're just regular people like us. No, they, these, these Edomites are wicked. Okay. They, 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 like I said, they're programmed to do wicked. Okay. They, they can't, there's not a righteous bone in an Edomite's body. Poli law enforcement or not. Okay. All right. Let me read a little bit of this article. It says white supremacist groups have infiltrated U.S. Uh, U.S. law enforcement agencies in every region of the country over the last two decades, according to a new report. But the ties between police and far right vigilante groups in a time in 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 a timely new analysis, Michael German, a former FBI special agent who has written extensively on the ways U.S. law enforcement has failed to respond to far right domestic terror threats, concludes that the U.S. law enforcement officials have been tied to racist racist militia activities in more than a dozen state state since 2000, and a hundred of police off excuse me since 2000, and hundreds of police officers have been caught. Posting racist and bigot social media content. And that shows you the pride of these devils right now. All right. They know that they have the backing of their police department. They know they have the backing of their mayors and their governments and really the, the president. So they're going to come out and say, post these racist and bigoted so on social media. And they're going to have they're going to have any repercussions. And they're not going to be reprimanded for the things that they do because they know they got the back and they know they got if like these these this this uh this police officer that just shot this guy out there in Wisconsin, Kenosha, Wisconsin, uh Jacob Blake, you know, they're gonna be under the fire for a little bit, but they know they got the force and they got the union that's backing them. That's gonna fight for them. They got lawyers that's gonna go to bat for them to try to get them off. Okay? And if they have to give up their job, they're gonna they're gonna be set. Okay, they're still gonna get their pensions. They're still gonna uh uh um uh uh uh, uh, uh ha have money and have the basic necessities, okay, that they need. All right. I'm going to scroll down. I'm not going to read all of it. I'll put the um, article in the description. It says police in Sacramento, California in 2018 worked with neo-Nazi to pursue, worked with neo-Nazi to pursue charges against anti-racist act activists, including some who had been stabbed, according to reports. All right. So they working hand in hand. OK, they, they, they got they, they got they got they have the neo-Nazi and these militia groups numbers on speed dial. All right. And in the article is going to go into. I'll just jump to it right here where um, the basically the, the, the protesters out there, these bugged out Black Lives Matter uh, protesters, the police is letting these um, these militia groups jack them up. OK, and they know who's doing it because they're the ones that sending them over there to do it. All right. It says this week, police in Kenosha, Wisconsin, face intense scrutiny over their response to armed white men and militia groups gathered in the city amid demonstrations for Black Lives Matter activists and others and others over the police shooting of Jacob Blake, a black father who of three who was paralyzed after being shot in the back. On Wednesday, Kyle Rittenhouse, a 17-year-old who had appeared to consider himself a militia member and had posted Blue Lives Matter content, was arrested on suspicion of murder after the fatal shooting of two protesters. All right, this is Edomite out there. He, you know, he shot two protest protesters. The guy got, man, got a, a, a shot in the head, I believe, and... Uh, one guy I think got hit in the arm, but it, they had it on video. It was it was it was gruesome. But hey, that's what the and the police are right there standing right by. Of course, they arrested him because the pressure was put on him. But these police, all you Jakes out there, you Israelites out there that's protesting and for Black Lives Matter, the same police that you think is going to protect you, they're letting these they letting these militia groups jack you up because they go hand in hand. They're 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 one and the same. Okay, it says activists in Kenosha say police. There have responded aggressively and violently to Black Lives Matter demonstrators. They're gonna jack you Black Lives Matters up, uh, Israelite. I mean, you Jakes out there that's protesting and being down with this Black Lives Matter shit. They're gonna jack you up, and these police are gonna let them. All right, these, no, the, excuse me. 
the government eventually is going to let them. They're going to let loose. All right. They're going to say, if you see someone with a gun, just open fire. All right. And we'll worry about you. Don't worry about the uh, repercussions. We'll worry about that. OK. It says, while doing little to stop the armed white vigilantes, um, supporting their supporting their claims is at least one video taken before the shooting and showed police tossing bottles of water of what appeared to be. To, excuse me. Let me read it again. Supporting their claims and at least one of one video taken before the shooting that showed police tossing bottled waters to what appeared to be armed civilians, including one who appeared to be the shooter. And the AP, the AP noted, we appreciate you being here. An officer said on the loudspeaker, hey, like I say, you Israelites better wake up because, you, hey, you'll be out there protesting and, hey, you're going to be on the other end of, uh, 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 of the barrel. All right. Whether it be from the police or whether it be from one of these militia groups. Okay. But hey, these Edomites are really, really showing you how they feel. All right. They've never been for you. Okay. They, at the end of the day, they hate you. Like this one Edomite said right here. So, you know, um, where is it? Oh, I think I went from the article, you know, throw you in jail and pretty much throw, throw away the key. No exercise. Just throw your, he said, throw your ass in a warehouse. And that's what they were eventually going to do. All right, because, you know, um, martial law, when martial law really kicks off, they're going to throw you Israelites in these concentration camps. The concentration camps are coming, okay? And, and there ain't going to be nothing you can do about it. All right, this is uh, Ezekiel 35 and uh, 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of the calamity and the time of their iniquity had an end. Had, you, these devils have a perpetual hatred for you Israelites. Get that through your head. All right. Un, they have an undying hatred. All right. They're not going to do right. They're not. You're not going to get justice. You're not going to be not going to be peace. They're not going to never treat you as you're equal. And we're not equal to them. We're actually better than them. OK, thus saith the scriptures. Verse six. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord power, I will pursue thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee since thou has not hated blood. Even blood shall pursue thee. So since you is since you Edomites. Okay, uh, uh, pursue blood, pursue bloodshed. The Most High is going to pursue you with blood through His Son Yahweh Shah. Okay, He's going to judge you with that same judgment you put forth on our people. All right, let me grab this in Ecclesiasticus, uh, Sirach chapter twelve and ten. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. Though he humble himself and act like he's for you and, you know, he wants to help you and he's for your cause. He says, take good heed, beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as thou hast wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust, meaning his wickedness, have not been altogether wiped away. And they can't wipe away their wickedness. They're all these, the most high program these Edomites to do wickedness. There's not a righteous bone in, his, in, their, in their body. Actually, let me do this. Let me get this. Um, two chapters over in the 14th chapter, um, Sirach 14 and um, 7. And if he doeth good, he doeth unwillingly. And at the last, he will declare his wickedness. All right. If you see an Edomite cop, an Edomite in general doing good, he hey, he's doing it unwillingly. He's someone's twisting his arm to uh, 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 be nice to you, Jakes, man. OK, they're not doing it out the kindness of their heart. They're not for you. All right. Like I've been saying. Hey, but these devils, hey, they, they're being they're, they're coming out and they're saying how they feel. And, and it's beautiful. All right. This is Second Thessalonians. Not Thessalonians. That was Timothy. Second Thessalonians 2 and verse 8. And then shall the wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And the wicked is being revealed. The wicked is revealing themselves. All right, these last days, if you can't see who the wicked is, if you can't see who's uh, 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 shooting you down, okay, and not giving a damn. You, all right, you need to be you need to be shot your damn self if you can't see that that these devils is evil, that that Trump is in office and Trump is letting all this shit go down and and, and ain't said nothing about it. Trump can give a damn about a black life or any of that shit. All right, but hey, what do you people do? Our our people continue to believe in the same system, go out and vote. And all that, and all this fucking, excuse me, and all this, uh, uh, this madness. All right. The Esau's, hey, these, like I said, Esau's revealing their own self. 
All right. And in, in, in this instance, they just they just come out and say it. Obadiah one and six. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? Really by the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shai and by the prophets. The prophets are the ones that's calling this out and, and, and telling you Israelites, yo, this guy ain't for you. This guy ain't never been for you. He hates you. OK, but you're going to have a lot of our people have to take a bullet in the damn head to figure that out. And by then it's going to be too late. The judgment it went forth. All right. Let me get this in um, the book of Psalms. Psalms 28 and verse 3. Draw me away from the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. They they speak peacefully. All right. Yes, we want to, uh, you know, we want to, uh, 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 what kind of stuff they say? They, you know, they, we want to help you help, you know. Uh, 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 help the cause and you know yes there needs to be police reform and all this stuff they're not for you they speak peacefully because they don't want jake uh protesting and tearing up shit but at the end of the day mischief is in their heart they're thinking how can they set you up for the okie doke again how can their witchcraft work on you like it's been working on you for so many years hundreds of years okay how can we push christianity harder on you to uh, uh to 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 make you think that, you know, God loves everyone. God, you know, we're all one people. The Bible don't say that. The, the Most High is about division, all right? The Most High is about uh, uh, um, reserving his, all right? The elect and, 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 and death to everyone else and everyone else going to get judged, okay? That's what the Most High is about. The Most High is about uh, 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 bringing judgment to those that, that need to be judged, okay? So let me see if I had anything else. Mm, yeah, that was pretty much it, man. You, you know, you understand if you if you if the spirit's dealing with you, you understand that these devils ain't for you. Okay, they've never been for you. All right, and the, these Edomite supremacists, KKK, have infiltrated. They've been infiltrated the uh, the police. All right, and you know, hey, the closer we get, the the closer we get to the end of this, you're gonna see this devil really reveal themselves and show their horns. They're gonna speak. They're gonna speak. They're gonna start saying crazy shit that you never thought. A police officer would say, I would never think, you know, our, our, our sheriff would say that. No, the, your sheriff ain't for you. OK, whether he's our, whether, whether he's an Israelite or not. OK, because uh, like I say, our people in there, our people that are in these police force, they sold out. But a lot of our people going to wake up. It's going to be police that wake up to the truth and come out of that bullshit. It's going to be, you know, it, it, Israelites that wake up and, and reveal Esau and the wicked ass uh, police departments. All right, so, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to you. How about Shimmy, how Shai, by Shimmy, how Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, and peace and citations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.